to the visit point of our. <laughs> it's a very posh classroom. Very nice. What's that? <laughs> The x-rays basically lose their energy uh, as they go through matter and linearly, so, so basically you get more on the outside than you do on the inside, which means that they are very inefficient in, in terms of... Um, and then on the top we've got the history of... Um... Yeah, I've got to do this. So this is the first particle accelerator I've made at CERN. It's called Synchro or Synchro Cyclotron. Synchro. So this is the first particle accelerator I made at CERN. It's called the Synchro Cyclotron. Have a look at it. It's quite huge. And it ran for like 33 years. Um, involved in the discovery of. Amongst other things, uh, the pipe and the decay. Pipes and stuff. Uh, so this is, um, as I said, the, syn the synchro cyclotron, and this was developed after the um, Second World War. Um, basically, um, the Nazis um, uh, were the best scientists in the world. Developed all kinds of technology, including missile technology, famously. They. Um, uh, after the Second World War then the scientists weren't really tried at Nuremberg and they were snapped up by America and snapped up by Russia um, because you know they're the most brilliant minds and in fact they, they didn't um, face any any war crimes um, so then Europe were left without a lot of great scientists so that really was the, the seed that, that was the birth of CERN because um, it was decided that there needed to be a, a European joint venture in science which brought together all of the nations that were destroyed and ravaged in the Second World War. And those nations came together then to conduct research um, under one banner which was great for unity. It was also decided that all the information would be shared and that um, it would not be used for military purposes and it would be public. Um, which again is probably the reason why the World Wide Web was given away for free and, um, and I guess that's the start of the whole thing. Yeah, I'll do. So yeah. this is one of the more no, it's not going through. Ah, yeah. So this is one of the uh, monitors they use for the power that they consume at soon. Now at the moment the LHC is on, so as you can see the power there though it's running at about 90 megawatts okay but when the um, accelerator is in operation this goes as high as 200 megawatts which is enormous so now you all need to work out now okay if the CERN is switched on for, if, if the LHC is switched on for one hour how many kilowatt hours of electricity does that use i'm only joking you don't have to do it it's okay <laughs> so this is the this is the inside of um well it's a mock-up of the inside of a particle detector called atlas so there are two massive detectors at CERN, one is called Atlas and the other is CMS. And this is a scale version, it's difficult to maybe get a grasp of just how big it is, but uh, it's absolutely huge. And it's just a, well, effectively it's the most sensitive microscope, most powerful camera, whatever you want to call it, uh, in the world. And the particles collide at that point there, in the beam, and then they shot out there in all directions, like all these directions and they're detected by all these different layers of detector. Hi, my name's Emma and I've been working at CERN for 20 years now. If you come and visit, we'll be able to uh, explain how we make our particle beams and how we make our collisions and how we use those 
to study the universe. So here I am in a corridor which shows 13.8 billion years of universe as I'm moving back down the corridor and hope I don't fall over. Uh, we get back about halfway down the corridor to the cosmic microwave background and this is the, part, the furthest we can see back using telescopes today. To go beyond that we have to recreate the conditions of the early universe in our experiments like we do at CERN and we get to see this particle soup that existed right at the beginnings of the universe that was created in the Big Bang 13.8 billion years ago and that is what we are studying at CERN today how all of that was created right at the very beginning from the particle soup and evolved to make the universe of stars and galaxies that we see around us today brilliant thank you very much <laughs> Jeff, would you like to explain where you're taking us now? So this is Jeff Wiener. He's in charge of making sure that we have an awesome experience while we're at CERN. And in addition to that, he's a really nice guy. Um, and you're just going to love his accent. I mean, we all do. Just listen. Oh, absolutely. It's my big and great pleasure to bring you to my beautiful lab. It's a school lab. Fantastic yeah. birthday joke. And if you look closely, the apostrophe between the S and the C is a J. For Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking. Jeff. I'm not joking. This is the only thing that I got. It's a one million francs lap and I did it for free. Wow. Except for the check. <laughs> Please uh, clean your shoes when you enter. Sorry, Jeff, this is just like my lab. <laughs> uh, it's really good news, Mrs. Castle. Uh, I've decided what kind of lab I'd like. Um, it looks a bit like this. So I know you mentioned that it was in the pipeline. So it'd be really grateful if you could release that money for, um, for a new lab. It's not for me, for the kids. So, this is the end of um, the first full day at CERN. It's been awesome. It's been, a, it's been a really busy day. They've worked us really hard. So just in case any of you thinking that I've been on a holiday, I can tell you now I had some really, really hard lectures today on particle physics that blew my mind. I mean, uh, it's been quite a while since I've done that stuff. Um, we had a lecture from a Welsh chap called uh, Roger Jones. In fact, there's been a, a certain Welsh theme running through um, the Welsh Teachers Conference here at CERN, which has been wonderful. So it was nice to meet a, a physicist, actually an engineer from Wales, who was um, working on the, the collider itself. And one of the messages that came through today is they need engineers at CERN. They need people to be working on, um, you know, fixing this equipment, upgrading this equipment, you know, um, turning the power up again, uh, and not just people to, you know, do the math and do the theory and the boring bit. So, yeah, he's very hands on. He talked to us a lot about um, engineering at CERN. He, he came out here 20 years ago, promised his wife he'd stay for two years and, and hasn't gone back. Uh, I, I, think, I think he brought his wife with him. Like, he didn't just leave her for, like, you know. Anyway. Um, so, that was awesome. And uh, what else did we do today? Oh, yeah, we got to make our own uh, cloud chamber this afternoon. Uh, cloud, not cloud, sorry, cloud chamber this afternoon, which was which is awesome, which is basically a way of, a really like, clever way of detecting particles um, uh, that you can do uh, in the lab. So something I'll do, I'll, I'll gonna try and do when we get back to Comfig. Um, we've got over the selfie stick now. We passed that. We've, we've had the comments. People have, you know, said mean things, you know. Um, but, uh, you know, after a while, people started to come around. They were like, that's really useful. I was like, yeah, huh? Just a bit, so um, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm doing the selfie stick thing, so that's going quite well. Um, and what else? Oh yeah, yeah, I had a trip to the gift shop. Don't worry, check that out. Now, I won't be wearing this in public, which is a bit silly really, because you know, I am actually broadcasting this on YouTube. But, um, yeah, check out that. 
I know what you're thinking, just a load of letters and such. Uh, and in some ways you're right, but um, uh, this is really the, the equation that governs all the forces, all the energy and all the matter in the universe and really is the best expression we have of reality itself. So, not bad. So, uh, yeah, that's just for the house, it's just for the gym jams really. Um, yeah, so I'm going to sign off for tonight now. Uh, another big day tomorrow. We're going to be visiting um, CMS tomorrow, which is one of the large particle accelerators going underground. And there's a song there. Um, yeah, we're going uh, underground tomorrow, so I I'm looking forward to that. Uh, you know, we get to see maybe where some of the real physics is happening, so uh, exciting stuff for me. Anyway, um,